Hey guys, and welcome to today's video. So in today's video, I'm gonna be answering the questions that you guys asked both on Instagram and then a couple videos ago, I asked you guys to leave some questions in the comments. So I'm gonna go through a mixture of both of those and answer as many as I can without making this video super long. All right, so the first question is from Heather and she asked, what is one makeup product that really surprised you when you tried it? either for a good or a bad reason. And I think that's a really good question. And the first one that popped into my head, the first product that popped into my head was this Flower Beauty Shimmer and Strobe Palette. I made a video a years ago uh, where I tried a ton of Flower Beauty and I had never tried Flower Beauty before. And I remember kind of thinking, oh, I should try this. It's a new drugstore brand, so I'll make a video on it. And I went to try this highlighter and I can link the video down below because I think you could probably see the genuine shock in my face. But I put this on and this to this day is my favorite highlighter. I absolutely love it and it just blew me away because I was kind of not super excited honestly to film that video and I was just trying it to try it and I ended up getting one of my very favorite products out of it and they've become one of my favorite brands so definitely would have to say this highlighting palette. All right the next question from Tasmia, I hope I'm saying that right, is how did you meet your husband and how did you know he was the one? I met my husband in college. I went to the University of Georgia and so did he. He actually played baseball there. And it's funny because I promised myself I never wanted to date an athlete because they had kind of a reputation. So when I met him, I did not know he was an athlete. We met actually at the bar that I worked at. Super romantic, we met at a bar, but that's kind of where you meet people in college. I remember he was wearing a blue shirt and I spotted him and I was like, ooh, he's kind of cute. But I wasn't sure if he noticed me at all. And we were standing in this big group of mutual friends he and I had never met before. And there were probably seven or eight of us standing there and he walked away and I was like, oh, well, I guess that ship has sailed. But he went to the bar and he bought a round of fireball shots. I don't know if any of you guys have tried fireball fireball shots I do not recommend but he went and bought a round of fireball shots for everyone that was standing there so I think there was like eight of us and he passed him out and I remember being kind of offended that he handed me mine last and everyone took the shot and then we all just started talking again and he and I were then standing next to each other so we started talking and we ended up going and sitting at the bar not drinking just talking for hours and getting into like a really deep conversation having known each other for five minutes and talking about our pasts and our past relationships and I just remember feeling how comfortable it felt to talk to him. Then he asked me for my phone number and I gave it to him and then one of his teammates came up and was like, hey, we should probably head out because we have early workouts tomorrow um, because it was hell week for them. And I was like, oh, workouts, what kind of workout? And he's like, oh, I'm, I play baseball here. And I remember my mind thinking, dang, I really liked him, and, but he's one of those guys. And writing him off a little bit in my mind. But then we, we all left and I never expected to hear from him again. But not even 45 minutes later, he texted me and was like, hey, I just wanted to check in and make sure you got home safely. I was like, okay, maybe he's a little bit different. And then obviously we we're here 10 years later, so it worked out and we never stopped talking. We were kind of inseparable from then on. And then the second part to that question is how did I know he was the one? I remember my mom actually being the first one to say something about it because we were, like I said, inseparable. And I'm the type of person that would get this is gonna make me sound bad, but I swear it's not in a bad way. I would get kind of tired of guys. I, if I was around a guy all the time, there would be little things about them that would really start to annoy me because I just really like to have my own space and my own time. I'm an introvert and I just kind of need space sometimes. But there was no space with us. We were always together and my mom was like, you've never been around a person for this long, this much and not gotten sick of them. I was like, you know what, you're right. I just cannot get enough of him. And that's how I felt about him. He was just my favorite person to be around and he became like my best friend as well as my boyfriend. And I would say that I still feel that way about him today. Like he still is my best friend. I can tell him anything and he's just my person. You just find that person in the world where you just cannot imagine your life without them and he is that in so many ways for me. The next question is, are you a full-time stay-at-home mom now? And there were a lot of questions about my job and things like that. So I feel like this will kind of cover that topic. So the answer to that is that out of college, I started working for a consulting company doing like IT consulting. And it was never where I saw myself going. I studied management and international business. I was never technology focused, but I met this company at a career fair at my college. And I just remember feeling like, 
those are some of the nicest, most down to earth people. Cause you know, at career fairs, you talk to like 10,000 people. So my conversation with them just stuck with me and I just felt like they were different. And even though it wasn't necessarily my field of interest, I remember being really excited when I got a call to interview with them. And obviously that's the company I ended up working for and that's the industry I ended up going in. And I worked there straight out of college for six years and then I left that job when I got an opportunity to shadow a makeup artist and that's when I really started out my YouTube channel and I did kind of a year of makeup and I really enjoyed that but I also miss the camaraderie that comes with an office atmosphere, especially when you work with people you really like, and just the stability of a nine to five. So when I took some time off from doing makeup and doing YouTube, that's where I went back to. It was the same company, the same people, and the same industry. And that was in 2018, what is it, 2020. So it's been a couple of years since I started back, and I'm actually part-time with them now since becoming a mom. So trying to find a balance between something I love to do, like YouTube, and interacting with you guys, and the thing that's the most important thing in the world to me, which is being a mom, and then working part-time for a company and people that I really love, it's sometimes really hard to find a balance. And right now, with everything going on in the world, we don't have any sort of childcare at the moment, so I am kind of a full-time mom, as well as a part-time employee, as well as a YouTuber. I've actually decided to take a couple of months of a leave of absence from my job just because we don't have anyone to take care of our one-year-old and we've been trying to balance it for the last couple of months but since there's not really a solid ending in sight I need to be more available to my daughter and I don't want to just kind of stick her in front of a TV and I know I'm very fortunate to have the option to do that but like I said she's my number one priority and I want to give her the care and attention that she deserves the next question is do you have siblings and the answer to that is yes I do I have a brother and a sister my sister is two years older than me and my brother is actually 10 years younger than me um, he was a surprise baby but he has been such a blessing in our lives I love both of them to death the next question is is are we going to meet your daughter would love to see her so I haven't really decided on that to be honest I feel like as an adult I've made the decision to put myself out there on YouTube but as a baby she can't necessarily make that decision for herself and I just don't want her to be 16 and be like mom why did you put me out there on the internet I don't know if that makes any sense but I just sort of want to as silly as it sounds I want to respect her privacy and I have nothing against mom bloggers and people that put their kids out there on YouTube I actually really enjoy watching mom bloggers because it helps me get new ideas on activities and routines and things like that so absolutely no disrespect to people that make that decision but for me personally, that's my hesitation. All right, the next question is, ever felt heartbreak and the best way to get through it? I've definitely felt heartbreak and it sucks. And I know this is like the worst answer, but it's the truthful answer and it's just time. Time is how you end up getting through it. But I will say that music really helps, friends really help, and just working on yourself. I know those are such cliche answers, but they're cliches for a reason because they really do work. The next question is, mom of two here, I'm always interested in birth stories. By the way, I was beyond excited to see you back. Oh, thank you. Um, let me know if you guys are interested in my birth story. I know that's not really the genre of my channel and I could put that on another channel so I don't inundate the people that are here just for the makeup. So let me know if you want to see that. It's kind of a long story and it was pretty rough. <laughs> Pretty rough, that's all I'll say right now. Next is, how's mom life? I'm expecting my first baby in five weeks. Very nervous. Congratulations, mom life is the best life. The hardest job I've ever had, but by far the most rewarding. And I feel like for the longest time, I was searching for this passion and fulfillment in a job. I was always searching for that project or that side hustle or something that was gonna give me this sense of purpose and fulfillment in my life. And then I had a baby and I'm like, oh, this is that. This is my purpose in life. And everything else is just the icing on top. All right, next up is what eyeliner do you recommend for beginners for a wing? Um, the Profusion eyeliner I've talked about before is so great for beginners because it's so, so thin. You really have so much control. And then the L'Oreal Cat Eye one is also really thin. And I think it actually comes with a stencil that you can trace to create the perfect cat eye. The next question is any plans for more children? and Yes, definitely. If we are blessed enough to be able to have more children, I definitely want more children. The next question, and probably the last question because my camera is about to die. The next question is what brought you back to YouTube? It was definitely a combination of things. I think first and foremost, I missed having that creative outlet where I could share things with you guys. Because when you become a mom, you don't get a ton of time to just kind of go out with your girlfriends and chat about things like makeup and nails and 
the girly things you want to talk about and I think my husband was a little bit tired of hearing about all of my makeup finds and I miss all of you guys like there's so many names that I recognize and I don't just say that like there are those of you that I feel like I know and I would love to one day maybe meet in person so I think becoming a mom and turning 30 are two things that just really make you stop caring about what other people think and I feel like I can enjoy it a lot more now if that makes any sense so those are all the questions for now because my camera is about to die. But let me know if you guys enjoyed this and want to see future Q&As. I can definitely do these monthly or as often as you guys want to see them. Give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That's how I know what types of videos you guys like. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next video.